Hey guys, this is Green Samurai logging in. We're about to play Pirate's Endless Voyage, which is a new One Piece game that's come out in the App Store. There's only one server at the moment, as you can see. I'm level 45. Not much to it. My volume's a bit loud at the moment. I might just dial that down a little bit. So here we go. I'm going to click Start. Wait for it to load. Now occasionally while I'm going through this, if you see an error pop up. I think the game might still have a few more bugs. So here we are on the home page of this game. I'm only going to do a short video on it, but I'm going to go more into depth as we go on with this game. So I'm just going to slide across here, show you a few things. I'm going to do only this main page here I'm showing you. All the other icons and buttons I'll do in another video in a day or two. So here we go. We're going to go into equipment. It's basic really. If you play games like this, you just click on select crew. You got your player ranks, player ranks change, you know, grey turn into green, green turns into blue, blue becomes purple. But take this into mind, not every card can obtain purple rank. Now I'm going to click on Zoro to show you just because I love Zoro in One Piece and I plan on upgrading him. Now, as I just referred about how characters' colours level up, that's the same as their equipment. They all start off as grey, as you can see I've got some blues and some greens. In the bottom right hand corner, you're probably wondering, what is a duck? Well, it's quite simple. They are speed beasts. They increase your guy's chance of attacking first to outdo your player because, just because you're powerful, if you attack second, could cost you the fight. So, that's a pretty quick speed through of that, as you can see all the stats down there, which I'll do in another video as well to sort of explain them more. Also, there's links to characters, which enhance them with certain other players. Now, I'm pretty sure backpack's self-explanatory, but I'm going to click on it anyway, just for the sake of it. Just to show you, you know, it shows you everything you have. You have a limit. The more levels you grow, the bigger your backpack increases. Or you can spend some money, even, to increase it. So, here we go. We've got also items next to cards. When you click on that, I'm going to show you. So, up in the green section, they're the materials you need to evolve your green guys. As you go down, I'm pretty sure it'll make sense. Blue goes to blue. Then, up in the top left, no, don't worry about the top left, I'll explain that later. But as we're going down, as you see it starts to change. Their equipment pieces, green to green, blue to blue. Then we get further down, you start to see map fragments. They are for ships, which I'm about to get into shortly when I go over to the pirate ships. I'll explain that when I'm in there. Alright, pirate crew. To be able to achieve this, you need to be past stage 610. I've run the pirate elite, so feel free to come and join. We're a Great guild, friendly, we love chatting, helping everyone out that we can because there's a few people in this game that have played uh, Naruto Ninja Chalker Awakens and this game is so identical to that, it's just visually better and they've improved on a lot of things where Naruto refused to improve. But, don't get me wrong, I'm not bad-mouthing Naruto, I play that game and I absolutely love it and they're in the middle of trying to fix it, so let's hope they do a good job there. Also, if you're interested in that game, I would recommend you jump over to the Crazy Coffee Cats YouTubing account. She's done some great videos on that. So here we've got someone trying to come into my guild by clicking on member down in the bottom left hand corner. You click on that. Well, I will be clicking on that. These are some of my guild members in here. I'm just gonna scroll through. I'm not gonna read their names at the moment. But as you can see, everyone's growing. They're a bit stronger than me, but that's all right. All these numbers are the amount you've donated to your guild because you need to buy fragments from a guild to be able to grow stronger later on. So it is necessary to be in a guild. So please, like I said, come to my guild. They're friendly. I won't buy it. Let's see if this bloke still wants to be a member. All right. Sometimes when you get there, they've already been accepted by another guild. So no hard feelings. People just don't have time to wait sometimes. I'm gonna go back over to member and back out. Now, as I was referring to donations, you click on donate. You have the choice of donating your money. As it says in the bottom, $1,000 is one contribution point. Points usually cost about 50, 100, and each time they get further and more money. Where? You also can donate your gold, which is strictly one gold for one point. So, you know, it's right there in front of you. It's your choice, whatever you get easier. You've also got the leaderboards. I'm all over the shop at the moment, but that's all right. My guild's a bit down at the moment. We're ranked. Somewhere. I'm level 4, so... Ah, oh, there we are. Number 11! Woo! Slowly getting the people. Yeah, keep up the good work, boys. If any of you are in this guild and watching this, I hope I ain't making an album myself, but yeah. Also, you got your store, which I was talking about. As you can see, 40, 80. Now, as you can see, it says Pirate Crew Store Level 5 to unlock. Now, this is what I was referring to for donations. 
when you donate, you also have to level up the guild. So everyone has to work together by donating. Whoops, accidentally clicked on the wrong thing there. Your flags as you get as you level up the guild. But as you donate, you have to upgrade your crew, then your store. By upgrading your pirate crew, it allows more spaces. And then the store, as I just showed you, for them equipment pieces. And then you got the scenario, which just tells you what's happened in the guild so I can see what people are up to. So that's the guild, just roughly ran through. Now synthesizing. Synthesizing is pretty easy. You just go in here when you get fragments to things, and then you make them. Now, what's really important to know is when you're collecting purple souls, you don't have to get all 80. There's a shortcut. You just get the 40, and then you get some of these bottom ones. I don't know what their names are at the moment. I'll find out in a second for you anyway, because I've only had this game for a week, and I'm still learning as I go, but I just wanted to do a video on it to try and encourage people to come over and play. We only have one server like I was referring to at the beginning of this game, and it's a beautiful game. So, I've accidentally left synthesizing, but I'm back in there now. Now, if you move over to de decompose, if you ever have purple characters you don't want, decompose them, you'll get 20 souls. I'm going to call them souls just for now to refer over to Naruto because it's the same concept of the game. Purples are worth 20. I'm going to keep my purple guy because I'm upgrading my Zoro in the future. Blues are only worth one. Anything else is worth skiddly squat. So, that's pretty much short and sweet. Now you got scenario. Now, in here in the phage, I'm going to accept my money because I completed that mission. But the rest, you know, food, money, gold. You just got to do what you got to do. It's things worth points and as you go, you click on a money bag when you get there. It'll have various rewards as I'm showing you right now. Then, you also have your login reward. As you can see, I got nothing that I really needed for this first one. Each day it progresses until you reach the third day. Then you can constantly flip three cards a day. Pretty simple. Also, <laughs> drinking coke gives you stamina in this. So, you get 60 and then you have a six hour cooldown twice a day. Also, pretty, pretty straightforward. Then we've got Protect Vivi. Now, as you can see, the sword and shield. It has two out of three because I've clicked on it two out of three day times. It's once a day you click on it. When you get to the third, a roulette will appear. The roulette will give you a chance of one purple character. And I'm not too sure, but let's just say six to eight. Not necessarily different characters. You could have, say, ten souls to a purple character, twenty for the same. But it varies. You never know what you're going to get. And strictly, it's all luck. Also, down where it says attack, as you can see, you get little rewards for those pieces to upgrade your lower cards it has a cooldown time to do each day but the more times you do it in a day the better the reward becomes but the cooldown tends to take longer and then over in the five card battle oh man i've tried to do videos earlier and they've crashed so i'm not going to go into it today but i'll show you in another one but pretty much you have five cards and you've got to try to predict how to beat the battle and these are your missions that you get just throughout little bonus rewards or throughout it and then money. It's like a money tree, this spot, I guess you could exchange. You get one free shake a day, and then afterwards 10 gold, as you can see. I'll click it, just to show you that it increases. And then the value of the gold you've got to spend for more keeps raising. Let's go into event. You've got these rewards right here if you can reach these certain levels within the week, which comes in handy for your account for a beginner. Now... The event section is a lot for people who want to spend money, so I'll quickly go through this without too much, but like I said, I'm going to do future videos and go more thoroughly through everything. I'm just mainly doing the homepage and a few things inside of the icons that I'm clicking on. So as we go across, grow fun. Now, as you can see, I can't claim it because I haven't bought it, but if you want to buy it, I'd recommend it because it goes from level 10 all the way down to 160, as you can just see as I flip down. But here's the catch, people. As you can see, this little gift box that looks like a poor package from Santa Claus is here. You can click on that. You do not need to buy money to get these rewards in here. You've just got to hope that other people do buy it. As you can see, I've claimed a few. Maybe in the future I'm going to buy it. I've just got to wait a bit. I did buy all these things on my Naruto account in Chalker Awakens, but, you know, let's just take baby steps with this game for me. As we move over, like I was saying... There's two things in this game you truly only want to really purchase to get you going without spending much money. 
and that's going to be the monthly card and VIP. You get $200 of gold a day just by logging in. And therefore, when you go to the VIP shop, you can either buy Ruin Suit, well, not sushi in this game, but, you know, XP, money, bags, the self, so it's all good. And Ruins are one of the most crucial things in this game, along with equipment. They are vital to it. Now, over here how I was referring to money spending. As you can see for your first time, you, un you unlock a purple lore. You also get smaller rewards. 300 more gold? No, I mean, green card. If we just shift down a little bit, let's go down to 8,000 gold where it should jump a bit. Well, it wasn't a very good one to click on, it's only a blue lore. But let me show you at the end when you've done 150,000 gold purchases. You get purple doe flamingo. Now, he will be strong in this game. Most people that tend to be at the end of these from other games, like in Naruto that I'm referring back to, was reincarnated Itachi. It's the only way to get him is by spending money, and he is an overpowered player. Usually when people see that in a team, they'll drop a few bricks. But, yeah. And then here, invite players to game. You just get a little bit of sushi in that, so it's not overly too important. But, like I said, each to their own. Now we're getting down to the pirate ship. We'll click on pirate ship. Just gotta wait a little bit for it to load. Here we are. I have the Moby Dick. It's a purple ranked one. There can be a bit of a drama to get. And it's also luck when you do it. So when you click on refresh bonus, you just gotta, you get one every day for free and then it costs gold. I have done it in the previous videos that have mucked up. I was just having bad luck recording. I also went to collect. Now, I don't have much money, but I'm going to do it again in this video anyway, just to show you a quick little thing about the pirate ship, so I don't really have to do this in the future. I've got a little crummy green one here, I'm just going to compose that real quickly. And then, yeah, I, I got the ship where they hire Sanji from, the chef's ship, so I don't know, Barati or something. I'm not too good with One Piece names, I'll get better for you out there, but that's alright. So now that I've summoned him, I'm going to move over to decompose on the left. I'm going to decompose him, he's worth 20 red points, so I'm going to decompose. Let's go back to pirate ship. Now you can see I have 30 out of, I got 38 on the right and it cost me 30. I'm going to upgrade. That increases my level and my attack damage, but it is also vital to know by doing this, you increase the chance of getting higher substats for your ship as you can see for penetration, tenacity, resistance and dodge. When I refresh in the future, I'll have a higher chance of getting better stuff for it. And that's a quick rundown of how the ships work. Companions is your friends list. Now in the other videos, I had a few people trying to add me in the top left, top right hand corner where the green button is. If it's flashing, there's characters trying to add you. So you come here, send stamina, receive stamina, send mails to your friends, see what guilds they're in. It's pretty straightforward. So you can keep an eye on everyone. Also, when you use somebody in this game, it's like five points, I think. But if they're your friend, you get 10. When you come over, and you've got the store. You get rewards. You can get fragments to XP, money, low grade characters. The more points you have, the more you can do it, the better off you are. I would recommend you wait until you have a thousand to do it. Just better to get 10 rewards in one go. That's my personal opinion. And then we have rare breeds. And then we have rare breeds. Now, rare breeds. How can I say this? This is pretty much a speed beast like I was saying earlier about Zoro. This is where you obtain them. So we're going to go to Secret Land. I don't have any on me at the moment to show you, but I'll make a video on it as an individual video when I go through it. I can't get on this one yet, but that's how you obtain them. You need these little white bubble paws. So when you come here, for example, you'll just pick your beast. I'm going to pick the Lord of the Coast. His level's only two. If I had some stones down here with the skulls, that's how you upgrade them. And vice versa, just like the pirate ships, you decompose, but I'm not decomposing them because I only have three, I don't even have a full squad yet. But that's a quick rundown of the rare breed. And now album. As we go into here, you can click on crew. And then in here is a way, if you want to check up to see if you can achieve purple, as you can see, they only become highlighted if souls, or have owned it, sorry mate. As you can see, I still need heaps more. I've got a lot of the green ones, but not many blue up yeah uh, like I said it's only been a week slowly over time I'll have a fair few let's go out 53 out of 155 characters found now equipment 27 out of 52 now you do not get to pick the equipment that goes to a character a character has its own unique equipment let me point that out because you cannot pick each equipment 
will have its own benefits. I'll probably even do another video in a short period of time from this video just to explain equipment for people, but let's just say for example the sword can do critical damage, the gun could do accuracy, and the armor could do durability, and another piece of armor could do dodge. That's all just individually done. But when you are doing these, try to keep in mind if you are spending money and grabbing ruins, try to get the ruins to go with your percentage chance. I know it's common sense, but you'd be surprised in other games the people that did not know this or do this. It is very vital to your success in these type of games. So, pretty much I've just given you a run through real quickly and simple of the home front page of just the center icon buttons. I'm going to go through later on in further videos. I hope you've enjoyed this little short clip of the One Piece game of the Endless Void. So this is a green samurai logging out and I'll have to see you next time.